What's up everybody, Bandit here. Now when we got the Land Cruiser, they did have the original BFG KOs on it. Now these were a decent tire. Now when the KO2 came out, it was a huge improvement over this tire. Uh, these tires here on this particular Land Cruiser do have some pretty good tread to them, but it does suffer from some, from some dry cracking. And personally, uh, using this vehicle as you know, running out in the mountains, kind of being away from it all. I don't really trust these tires, and uh, I was definitely looking for something new from day one uh, when we did purchase the Land Cruiser. Well, I was poking around here at Walmart uh, a little while ago after we had lunch, and I found these tires. Now, these are the Goodyear Regular Authorities. Now, after doing some research, I learned that the Goodyear Regular Authorities are only sold by Walmart. Uh, they are a true Goodyear Regular tire. And a lot of people had some good things to say about them. I looked on both the I Hate Mud Forum, which is the Land Cruiser Forum, also Tacoma World, and a lot of people had some really good things to say about these tires. Uh, obviously, they're super aggressive. Um, supposedly, they are a little bit loud on the interstate, but anytime you're off-road, uh, they handle absolutely perfectly, and when you're on-road, uh, they are pretty livable. They are considered an all-terrain tire, even though they are fairly aggressive, uh, but they do have some really nice siping, uh, some aggressive sidewalls, and they are a load range C, which is a six ply tire. So I think it'll be a great replacement here on the Land Cruiser. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because when I started asking around about these tires in Walmart, uh, the price really stuck out to me. Now, it looks like when these tires first came out, they were right around $180 to $190. However, on the sale sign in Walmart, they were listed for, I believe, $113. However, the more I asked, the more the price continued to go down. I ended up purchasing these tires for $74 per tire. So we're looking at a brand new set of tires for under $300. Now, obviously, when you add tax and everything else, you're a little bit above $300. But uh, in comparison, I also uh, crawl shopped the Falcon AT3 W tires, uh, the newest uh, addition to the all-terrain Wild Peak lineup there from Falcon. And for all four tires there for mountain balance and everything else, they were around $660 there from Walmart. Now, that's about $140 a tire plus the installation cost and everything else. Again, these were $74 per tire. So personally, uh, I don't think that the Falcons could possibly be that much better. And then obviously the Falcons were also a fairly inexpensive tire. If you go to a Nitto or to uh, the KO2s, the newer version of the BFGs here, or uh, a lot of other tires, they only go up from there. The Falcons were the cheapest until I ran across these Goodyears. So we are gonna try those, and I would definitely recommend if you live near Walmart or you're in need of some tires, make your trip to your local Walmart Tire Center and check these out. Again, they were $74. These are a 31 by 1050 on a 15 inch rim, and um, that's exactly what we have on here uh, as of now. I know that's not the stock Land Cruiser size. I believe stock, they're about 30 by nine. Um, here on the 15 inch wheel. Uh, but we are gonna run the 31 by 10 and a half. I think that should be really great off-road. And uh, they also come in other sizes. So if you have a Tacoma, if you have really any other uh, vehicle, they do come in other sizes. And actually they had more of those sizes. The 31 by 10 and a half by 15 is more of what older vehicles use. Uh, newer vehicles like our Tacomas usually run a 265 70 R16, uh, at least for the off-roads and then your 17s are found there on the Sport, and then 18s there on the Limited if you have one of those. Uh, but you can definitely get these tires in different sizes. So, like I said, if you are in need of tires, definitely recommend going out there. These were $74 per tire. I know I've said that quite a few times, but that is a really, really good deal. And it looks to be a decent tire. Now, obviously, um, the more I'll have these, I'll continue to relay my thoughts and everything about that. But it looks like these tires are getting harder and harder to come by. And actually, the guy in the tire center uh, was going to buy them at the end of the day if I couldn't have got them. So uh, definitely rush out, uh, purchase some of these. And if you don't mount them and you change your mind, you can always return them. You know, they do still have all the stickers and everything on it. They said if I change my mind, I, I can return them within their uh, return policy and everything would be fine. But I'm really excited to get these tires on the Land Cruiser and hopefully have something a lot more reliable and a little bit safer there out on the road. So here's a closer look at the BF Goodrich KOs that originally came on the Land Cruiser. As you can see here between the tread, there is a lot of dry cracking, and that makes for a lot more unreliable tire. So not only does this make it more susceptible to punctures and air leakage and everything else, but when the rubber compound begins to dry out, you have worse on-road grip, uh, especially in those wet or icy conditions. So we definitely want to get these replaced, and hopefully these uh, Wrangler tires here that we got from Walmart will do the trick. Now, another thing real quick is I'm sure you all noticed that there are only three tires here. And that's because the local Walmart did only have three of these Goodyear tires. The fourth 
And the next closest one that we could find was actually in Hagerstown, Maryland. So I had my uncle run up, he grabbed the fourth one. I do have a full set and uh, we hopefully will be getting those on the Land Cruiser before too long, so stay tuned for that. So also with the Land Cruiser here, we've done a couple more things here under the hood. So I was driving it the other day and uh, it was starting to get warm at speed. So anything above 55 to 60 miles per hour and up, it would start to get warm. Uh, we talked about this in the last Land Cruiser update video and uh, I had a lot of mixed results here in terms of what it could be. A lot of people said the radiator, a lot of people said possibly uh, something with the fan was going wrong. Some people said the water pump, some people said the thermostat and everything else. Uh, the thermostat was re actually replaced uh, soon after we got it, so that is all new. And uh, I did end up replacing the fan clutch first. Here is the factory fan clutch, and as you can see, it is uh, a little bit worn to say the least. Uh, it has a little bit of corrosion and everything around there. So we did replace that with the part I got from Rock Auto. Uh, the Rock Auto part was around $30 and uh, we popped it in there it just it's where the uh, fan uh, connects to your engine block obviously it does spin and how it works is the hotter that your engine gets there is fluid in here and the hotter it gets it causes it to expand and then the clutch engages causing your fan to spin faster therefore cooling your motor uh, with this new clutch in here it did uh, do the job i've had it up to about 65 miles per hour and uh, it's doing just fine uh, I was going to test it on the interstate, but to be completely honest, I don't trust the tires that are on it. Uh, I wouldn't want to get it up to speed, have one of those tires pop, and then uh, who knows what would happen from there. But uh, we do have the clutch on it. All the coolant and everything else uh, is staying at the right temperature, at least according to the gauge there in uh, the gauge cluster. And uh, I was driving it around a little bit the other day and had one of these coolant lines blow here coming off the engine. Uh, so we also replaced those. Uh, there's two here at the front and then a, a third one going uh, in the back kind of into your heater core. Uh, we did replace all those, got new hose clamps for them and everything else and everything appears to be fine. Now these heater hoses do have a Toyota part number. I do plan on ordering those, especially the ones that have a, more of a bend to them. But here for at least the straighter ones, we are just going to use normal heater hose. I believe it was a three quarter inch. I could be wrong there. Uh, it's actually 19 30 seconds of an inch. It says it right here on the on the hose, uh, but that did the job. It was a little bit snug trying to slip it over some of the fittings, uh, but we did get it all on and it is running just fine. Again, all those coolant temperatures are staying right within normal operating temperature. And it's actually proving to be a pretty reliable vehicle. I think I have about 100 miles on it now since I bought it and uh, it's working really well. So I'm looking forward to getting this thing out on the trails. And uh, as of now, like I said, everything is going well. Uh, there is one more thing we have to address with it and that's actually with the PCV valve and the whole EGR system on this thing. So uh, with the Toyota 3FE motor, which is this four liter here in the early 80 series Land Cruisers and also the, I believe the 60 series Land Cruisers also use this motor. Um, but we will have to look into this a little bit more uh, because there is oil getting into my intake. So uh, it sounds like when your PCV valve starts to wear out, you do get oil in your system and it can, with those vacuum lines, start to pump oil into your intake. Um, now, there is no oily residue or anything coming out of my exhaust. There's no white smoke or anything like that. However, when you do first turn the vehicle off until it cools down, there is a little bit of uh, white steam, kind of smoky type stuff coming from the back. Now, it's not real bad. It's not going to cause a fire or anything like that. Uh, but it is probably the next thing that we're going to start diving into here. So that pretty much wraps up everything we have to talk about for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic week, everybody. Catch you next time.